All right, so we're about to embark on a rack building journey for John Petrucci. We're here at the, the Dario headquarters, and um, we're going to build these two monstrosities. And uh, this one's going to have three road kings. This one's going to have two lone stars and a bunch of rack stuff in the middle. And we're going to wire it all up with Planet Waves cables. And I'm very excited about it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, if we look at this, we could say that we got a problem. So if we went back to there, the 27 and 5 eighths pretty much comes after the rack. If I go to my uh, dimensions, which were given to me by Jim from Boogie, you'll see 27 and 5 eighths wide, 11 and a quarter high, 11 and 5 eighths deep. But he actually went 25 and 5 eighths. So there's basically two rigs, and this will be the clean rig with a rack B. And we're just kind of at a point now where we're going to look at what's going to be the smartest signal path. The signal is going to come into this amp switcher first, and then that'll go to the two amps, and then return, and then go out to, I'm going to put a DBX here, a gate, and a, uh, and a compressor that can be kicked in and out through a loop, and then through the effects and into the mixer. So I think what we'll do is, since this, we, we did this to match this rack, what we'll do is uh, I'll get a little kind of drawer so we can put knickknacks and cables in there. And then we'll put this, we'll get this on the shelf right around here. And then the DBX down here. And then we'll have some storage. And then the, the switching can just sit on top so we'll get Velcroed to that drawer. I think that'll work out nicely for this rack. And then I'll shorten up this AC stuff in the back. Prevent any noise. I'll kind of just shorten this stuff up a little bit. Make it neat. This stuff that's going away is what makes inductance noise in racks, so hopefully we're going to try and get rid of a good amount of it. That should help to keep us quiet. What you want to try and do is, is as much as possible, keep the signal away from the AC. What we've decided to do with this, uh, this new giant rig is basically have two completely discrete rigs. Um, John is, is always played with a really compressy, crisp, clean channel with a lot of headroom and then super high gain. And it's really hard to get the clean exactly how we want it. So what we've decided this time to do is to basically use two road kings and have them um, dedicated just for clean with their own speakers. And those would be two 2x12 two boogie um, cabinets. They're actually Lone Star cabinets with some new hotshot speaker that they've designed. And then um, because it's a separate rig with its own speakers, it also has to have its completely dedicated uh, group of effects, which this one has a 2290 and an M3000. And it also has a compressor, mixer, so you can adjust the mix level of the effects. Um, we haven't done this before, so this is kind of an experiment, but I think it's going to be pretty cool. And then his dirty rig, which is totally separate, uh, that'll have the three road kings. And the other thing that'll allow us to do, which we've uh, always attempted in the past, is to
to really have um, uh, the combination of clean and dirty sounds, where in the past we would use two different preamps, but it would still be coming out the same speakers. This way he can use clean, dirty, or he can combine both, because he can use the, uh, you know, any, any one of the four channels on the Road Kings and then put on the other group of cabinets. So the stage setup will have four cabinets. We've moved away from the, uh, the dry-wet systems that we've always done uh, with a mono center dry and then left and right stereo wet because uh, they've just been too inconsistent. Um, we haven't been able to get the sound in, in the venues quite right by doing that. We also tried um, with the last rig using isolated speaker cabinets, but that didn't really work out too well either. There's nothing like the reaction of, of the air with the speakers. It just makes them sound real boxy and closed. So that didn't really work out either, unfortunately. So this time there'll be four and they'll just be blaring, hopefully in my case. I love that. It's all about the symmetry. This has a clutch on it, by the way. I'm not just stripping the screws. I would say about 12 pounds PSI. <laughs> sound great and they've worked really consistently for me and uh, they have some really cool rings that, that seem to work out so you can actually make some real short runs and I mean you know in an application like this normally you know you wind up getting a five foot or something with a big jumble of wires this actually works out quite well. With a lot of uh, cables um, right over here seems to be a real weak link right at the end of the connector you know, get shorts, you know, obviously they get stepped on on long instrument cables and whatnot. Um, so you get a lot of problems in there. Plus microphonics when you hit the cable. Um, these seem to have really, really good shielding. Uh, it's got that great uh, compression of springs on the ground. So you always get a real, you know, secure ground uh, connection and real low microphonics. And the thing about uh, cables is that I don't think you want a cable to sound a certain way. You just want it to complete the signal path and not degrade the signal. I think a lot of other cables, you know, try to be tonally superior, but they're just actually, um, you know, deficient on certain frequencies. These just seem to be, you know, uh, real transparent, and that, that's what uh, that's what I'm looking for in a cable. So we just received our pedal board here. We're going to see if we have a similar rack type scenario where measurements are quite there. It's looking a little, a little tight, I have to admit, but maybe not. It's going to be close. Now the only thing we need to put on here, if we can shoe one on there, is a couple of these pedals. Do this. Worst case scenario, we can kind of remove the handles. I was hoping that. This is the only side that he had actually prepared on this. We really shoe on that in like that. It's tight. It's tight. We're going to need to remove these handles. 